Well, one way that you can fight back against uh, police brutality is by recording it when it's actually taking place. You could take out your smartphone and film it. However, even though the Supreme Court in Illinois struck down a law that would make it illegal to film cops as they're doing their jobs, turns out the lawmakers in the state are still trying to revive that law by making a few changes and making it a lot more vague. That way, you will be a little more intimidated when you consider filming a cop while they are in the process of arresting someone. Okay, So according to reports, the bill would make it a felony to... Uh, to record any private conversation, which it defines as any oral communication between two or more persons where at least one person is involved or one person involved had a reasonable expectation of privacy. So the part of this that is vague is the reasonable expectation portion of it because the bill does not explain what reasonable expectation means. So it's open for interpretation. Um, and some people who are analyzing this bill are saying that it was left in vague intentionally that way it would confuse people and it would just deter people from filming cops because if you do get caught and you do get prosecuted for it uh, you could be charged and convicted of a felony and you can serve time behind bars for it I have a tough time believing that part of the story um, not that the bill is obviously real but like and his interpretation is going to be that applies to the cops or it doesn't apply to the cops and then we're going to know like you can't get cute and write the legislation in a way that's going to that's going to that's going to deter people from shooting because at some from shooting video because at some point that's going to be determined um, but what if it goes in front of a grand jury instead of a, instead of a judge and the grand jury, here's the law, grand jury, oh, okay. Right, but then it's going to go to trial and the judge is going to determine it. I mean, it might scare off a couple of people, but as soon as that law, as soon as that bill becomes law, mm -hmm. then we're going to know whether it applies to cops or not. If you were seriously interested in protecting citizens' rights, though, to videotape police officers in the act, you would write the law the exact way it is and then say, the exception is if you're shooting public servants in the process of doing their job and then there'd be an exception for shooting police and then there'd be no ambiguity at all yeah like yeah that wouldn't that wouldn't be hard so do we know the people behind it are serious are they trying to protect cops is that what yes. the effort is well oh here so here are a few things about this that i found really interesting first of all um this was actually ta put onto a completely different piece of legislation that had absolutely nothing to do with surveilling police officers right so it was tacked onto another bill only a few days before uh, members of the House voted on it and m members of the Senate in Illinois voted on it, okay? So that was a little problematic because it's unclear as to whether or not the lawmakers really knew what they were voting on. But nonetheless, uh, they voted overwhelmingly in favor of this legislation. Right now, the governor of Illinois just has to sign it and it'll become law. Um, it passed 106 to 7 in uh, the State House and also 46 to 4 in the Senate. So uh, they were largely in favor of it, but again, it's kind of unclear as to whether or not they knew the specifics of this and whether or not they knew that this was tacked on to a different piece of le legislation last minute. Um, but another portion of this is, I don't even think that you need to have a reasonable expectation of privacy for it to be considered unjustified. I think that when you're dealing with a cop and you think that something shady is going on, that's someone that's being paid with our tax dollars, right? You should be able to film them if you think that there's some wrongdoing happening, right? This is a public servant. So why do you have to even have a question about reasonable expectation of privacy? If they're on the job and you are dealing with some sort of interaction with a cop, you should be able to film them. I don't care about privacy or and, not. And, and the bigger question is also cops expect to be able to police our country and our neighborhoods in private? Right. That doesn't in make secret? any sense. They're public servants. That doesn't servants. make any sense. Exactly. You can't police a neighborhood. You can't police a communi community in secret. That's yeah. the whole thing. I, I just have a tough time buying that this is what, what could possibly happen here. I mean, first of all, we're talking about there's a federal effort to put uh, cameras on cops, right? Yeah. I mean, here's what people don't have a reasonable expectation of privacy if their every action is being recorded already. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no, there's no expectation of privacy at all. So uh, I, that said, it's certainly worth following, and it's an interesting story, and I, I would be stunned if it were interpreted yeah. this way that that's uh it's, it's got a lot of constitutional hoops right well to the, get through and one final portion of this is the consequences that you'll face if you are caught filming a cop when he has a reasonable expectation of privacy um so according to the bill it would also discourage people from recording conversations with police by making unlawfully 
recording a conversation with police or an attorney general, assistant attorney general, state attorney, assistant state's attorney or judge a class three felony which creates a sentence of two or four years in prison. Meanwhile, the bill makes a legal recording of a private citizen a class four felony which carries a lower sentencing range of one to three years in prison. I think that right there is a little telling, right? Because it shows you who they're trying to protect. Yeah. They don't really care about private citizens as much. It's a, you know, a different felony. It's a class four felony as, a, as opposed to a class you three know, felony. I'm also reading this more carefully uh, this second time through, and th it only requires one person to have the reasonable expectation of privacy. So you could make it that the uh, person being arrested by the cop had the reasonable expectation of privacy. Right. Uh, so it's a bad law. It's already been struck down once by the Illinois Supreme Court. They changed it a little. It strikes me is that it will be struck down again. I'm a little surprised. I'm surprised that anything that passed, as you said, Anne, 106 to 7 in the House and 46 to 4. I mean, the Democrats and Republicans in the Illinois State House are not that united in protecting the cops. They're not that united in anything. I'm not saying it wouldn't have passed, but that bill would have been closer.